The 15-week abortion ban trims current law by nine weeks and makes exceptions only for fatal fetal conditions. Or good afternoon. And once more, Democrats tried to amend it, pushing several changes Monday, including much-desired exceptions for rape, incest, or human trafficking. This amendment simply gives that person, that woman, that girl, the opportunity to have control. Sex assault victims also echoed a desire for amendment in public testimony. Everyone deserves the right to an abortion. And for victims of rape, incest, and human trafficking, this is a cruel and unusual punishment. Republicans still rejected the efforts. The amendment is not adopted. As each amendment failed, mostly along party lines. I believe that these are babies and I want to do everything I can to protect them. Senator Kelly Stargell is sponsoring the 15-week ban. She defended her resistance to expanded exceptions, saying the bill as written allows enough time to make a decision and then went further. I think it's something to be said that just because a child was conceived in rape or incest, that that child cannot be loved. Democrats now have one more chance to make changes on the Senate floor. I'm not under the, um, you know, belief that this is something that we're going to stop. And Senate Minority Leader Lauren Book recognized likely approval in the full chamber, but still held out hope an amendment could happen. I believe that Floridians, regardless of their party, believe that there should be additional time for a survivor of rape incest or human trafficking, more time to decide. DeSantis is expected to sign the bill upon its receipt, but its ultimate fate will likely be up to the courts, as it conflicts with Roe v. Wade and potentially Florida's privacy laws.